I don't know. I don't know if I feel comfortable standing up. Shall I get a chair? Oh, fuck it, I'll stand up. I found NoFap in 2017 after finding out about porn and masturbation when I was like very young, man. Like too young, way too young. I remember <laughs> there was a magazine at one of my mate's house um, that his, whole, his older brother got us. The magazine. Oh no, it was like a magazine and it came with a DVD and we put the DVD into like the PS2 or whatever. That was the first time I've ever seen porn and I was like, oh my God. And I think it was called like How to... It blew my mind, my dopamine receptors were probably off the chart, right? So, I was always quite shy, but then I remember after, there was like a certain time in school when I just like, my confidence just went down and numb. And looking back at it now, it's when I got into pornography, I got into video games, and it was just spiking my dopamine as much as possible. Um, anyway, skip forward to 2017. I got my first job in a supermarket, rhymes with... Fresco, you used to have to stand up on a self-service checkout and basically whenever anyone got like a product that didn't weigh on the item, it didn't weigh properly, we had to go and sort it out. There's a problem with the baggage at your packing area. So I was on them for nine hours a day and this was when I used to jack, jack off on porn every day, like literally every day. Anyway, in 2017, I went on a 70 day streak and for that 70 days, Oh my God, I was like starting conversations with every customer. There was like a basket till behind us and there was always like pretty girls on it who worked at the, the shop. And I'd be like running over and talking to them because I was just had this like energy inside me, bro. It was like, it was crazy. I just needed to, I needed to spread that energy and you get desensitized to stimulus. Anything feels good after, when you're on no fat because you're not bombarding your brain with dopamine. After 70 days, I relapsed and that was the start of a downward spiral because I just kept going and kept going. It proved to me that it wasn't a Addiction. The thing is, after that 70 day streak, after you go on a proper streak of Novap, you know you've got that secret power. You've got that secret, secret power and you can pull that secret power out at any time. And I struggle with anxiety and I always have struggled with anxiety. I know Novap absolutely wipes that anxiety off because you're just like an animal, bro. You just like go primal. You're like, oh my God, I've got this energy, this like dragon's blood inside me that's gonna feel the fuck on me, right? Anyway, I'm not saying it was purely no fap, but oh my God, I pulled the streak out in my second year at university and it absolutely like, the, the, the attention from females it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And I'm not even saying this to brag. Like, this is what NoFap did to me. I had to, I'm being dead honest here. I had to go back on like some sort of yes fap streak. You, if you deprive yourself of a certain thing that could be food, like imagine if you deprive yourself of food, you'd be like going out there looking for food. Like you'd be, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I need to go and hunt. I need to go and do this. Right, it's the same with sex. If you deprive yourself of sex, of ejaculation, of pornography, you are going to be hungry for it. And the people who win in life are the people who are the hungriest for it. If you want anything, deprive yourself of it completely. Don't even don't even cope with any vices like porn. The reason why I always relapsed was because I'd speak to people about it. You jerk off? Do I, do I jerk off? Yeah. Yeah, I jerk off. Speak to people who didn't know about NoFap and like just the average Joe. And like everybody wanks, like everybody does it. It's like, why is wanker an insult? Like, why is a wanker in the UK a wanker's an insult? Why is that? Because you wank, like, there must be some like meaning to it. Anyway, I used to relapse because I seen people and they were like, nah, I'm not a no fap. And I was like, oh, this guy's doing quite well for himself. Like he's he's got a good job, like he speaks to girls. But like a lot of people who go on self-improvement, like we are just, for me anyway, I was a complete idiot. I had to go on self-improvement to kind of develop my character, to give me the confidence to go and pursue things. And once you develop the confidence to um, interact with people, then it compounds and you get to practice with people and your, your skills of communicating get better and better. Whereas the person who never gets on self-improvement never actually gives them themselves the chance to go on, on that journey. Basically, when anyone says like, oh, no, that doesn't work, it doesn't work, like, where's the data, where's the data? There, one, there is some quantitative data on it where people uh, have recovered from pornography addictions through NoFap, but look at the amount of people online who are saying it's changed them. They, like, that doesn't come from nowhere. So if you can just try it, like, literally, practical tips, does it grow corn? You need to get on NoFap because it is hard, but it is so worth it. And you transfer that that energy because like ejaculating and porn, like it requires a lot of energy. Like, it, and it may be easy, but like for your body to, to produce that, like it's a life force. It's like life force inside you. If you can use that and store that energy up and transmutate it over to somewhere else in life, you're going to boss that part of life compared to the person who's not doing NoFap. So anyway. Holistic Athlete 100 in the description and uh, click on this video. Peace out.